Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019, and this is your workshop update. Hey, I'm Janet Jekyll Bates. It is, um, it keeps getting earlier and earlier. It's 5.30 in the morning. Um, just have a few pieces to show you guys this morning, but there's some really cool pieces, and I'm really excited about showing you guys, so let's get right into it. I am going to show you the before shots of these two right now. Yeah, so that's what those started out like. And this is the finished product. Get this up under the light. Did quite a bit of shading and graphics on this. This is all hand detailed graphic. And get a good shot at this other side. Did some exposed stuff in there. Good colors for the spring. Good colors for the early summer for deep divers. And this will this is this one right here is um, a 15 to 20. And then this one is a I want to say it's a 25 foot. So these are super deep. Now, one of the most frequent comments I get is that red, the color red, disappears in the color spectrum um, faster. Or actually, it doesn't, if you look at it, it doesn't disappear, but the color itself fades. Um, but there's a lot of gold in this as well. Um, but the purpose of this, obviously, the pattern, it's a craw pattern. So you're still going to have those accents that are going to kind of, but as the bait is trolling down, it's still going to catch the eye of the fish. And not only that, but it becomes more of a profile bait. Pretty much the deeper you get, unless you have a straight up shad pattern, the deeper you get, those patterns are going to fade regardless of what you have. So I just did this one in a craw. It's got the uh, yellow under accent. And then you can see that there's quite a bit of blue and uh, orange and, and yellow threading underneath in the layering. So that is that. And uh, it's, a, it's a big transformation. One of the things that I really like to do is breathe more life or new life into old, tired, bad-looking baits. As long as they pass a float test and a swim test and, they're, and, and the integrity of this is sound. There's no cracks in the bills. And uh, these, these bills look terrible. <laughs> they look absolutely terrible when we started out. Um, and they look just about brand new right now. This one is a little bit worse for the wear, but again, structurally, it's completely sound. And now it's got extra resin in it that's going to help keep that protected for years and years to come. So, very cool. Love doing stuff like this. You guys saw this probably on Facebook. This is a sockeye salmon. And I will flash that picture for you guys right now. You guys can see that. And I've got... I actually did four of these. Two of them were for a customer, and then two of them I might even keep one of them because I really like the pattern. But just uh, something different to do with red because most of the red patterns out there, like the Rayburn reds and the Craws, and I mean, they've just been done to death. So it's kind of refreshing when you get a chance to do a pattern that is a little bit non textbook, non iconic, and still a very cool match the hatch and great replication of a fish that you'll find this color in the wild so there you go there's a sockeye salmon a little bit of dark on there and just a whole ton of fun to do so thanks mike for coming up with that idea and yeah if you guys have ideas um, and you want me to do something a little out of the box obviously i paint as an artist as well as uh, a match the hatch type of person so i love kind of turning your thoughts and ideas into really cool patterns and creations for you guys so this is a lee's flat tail super super cool um i will flash the before picture of this this was the reverse loon 
Um, usually loons are black and they have some white spots and the customer asked for the imperial crawl which i've given them in a bright purple and fluorescent green belly with white accents so um, normally on musky baits which obviously this is one um, i get a little bit of uh, creative freedom to do some pretty cool stuff and um Mr. Francis is very cool about just letting me do my thing. So hopefully I've done him justice on these. And it started out that reverse loon had, uh, it was white with black accents and red eyes. And the red eyes that came with it are still in really good shape. But red eyes don't make sense for that purple bait, but the yellow eyes did. So that's, we replaced that. And then it's got three coats of epoxy, or actually KBS is not epoxy, it's a resin. Um, and it's super hard, it doesn't get yellow, but there's a lot of moving parts on this, so this did take a little bit of a, was a labor of love, we'll call it, to get this thing apart where it could be painted, repainted properly. And uh, the patterns that, if you if you check out leeslures.com, if you guys are pike and musky fans, and toothy critters um and i you know i don't know if anybody's asked lee or if, if lee knows and i'm sure he does after all of the years that he's been in business um if he's done any deep sea or offshore stuff with his massive baits but they're so cool i can't imagine that they wouldn't catch a ton of saltwater ocean going fish as well we'll just say pelagic but uh, one last look at this all the way around on another spectacular. Lee, I'm going to have to get some of your baits. That's all I'm saying. Just lots of fun to do. Something completely different and out of the box. So, and this started out as a blank. This is a River Slicks. I'll show you the actual this is their throat punch series i got it as a blank this also has three coats and he asked for some brown and darker brown tiger musky pattern so we were able to do that for him got just a hint of green in it which you're going to find in the wild as well So lots and lots of fun with the creative freedom to do some really cool patterns. If you guys are interested in having me do some musky baits for you, I would be delighted. I've normally kind of stayed more towards the bass um, clientele, but I mean, who wouldn't, and I've said it before, who wouldn't want to work on big real estate and have this much space to fill with some really cool designs? So there you go, folks. That is your shop update for this morning. What's that you say? Well, it's just a box of hooks. You guys don't normally see that stuff, but if you want to know what a thousand hooks looks like, well, let me show you if I can get the box open. These are must ads. These are the number fours, and uh, I'll see if I can get one out. Good luck with that, right, Cravasi? These are the KBD's short point, short shank, sharp point, rather. Let's see if we can get a, there we go. So these are the KBD's. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting.